Now most shows often have a theme or pattern, but in Full House case it's more of an overused manipulative plot device. And trust me when I say they have several. Like how about the corny music that would play whenever a speech is being made? What is it, honey? It's just not fair. I didn't even know what love was until I met you. Where's my mom? How out of it was I? You were here, sweetheart, but it was, it was like part of you was missing. It's not like the actual emotion of the scene is enough to carry it, so we have to play shitty-ass music to let you know when to feel something. God, what I wouldn't give to hear that sappy-ass music over a scene that didn't require it. Stephanie, there's a time in every girl's life when she might be noticing some changes. They might seem strange or bizarre to you, but it happens to every young woman. It's called having a period. It's gross, disgusting, and unnatural, but it's something that all females go through. You may see your body as something possessed, horrifying, or despicable. And that's because it is. Stop it. Right now. But that's not the only pattern. Every single show has a relatively harmless problem that always seems to be solved within a half hour time limit. Or, in most cases, a one minute speech. But you still got me. You got me too. And me. And me? And me? And me. And me? I'll move back in. Uh. Yes, you'll often find that the studio audience for the show is very easy to impress. For example, here's what happens every time somebody kisses. the show begins, but if you're like me, you're wondering how the hell does it all end? Well, unfortunately, a killing spree isn't involved, however, one of the characters does get injured. Michelle is involved in a horse racing competition, as it turns out Dan and another girl's mother get way into their daughter's achievements. Could you comb out my little girls? I'm a parent, not a groomer. Oh, I'm sorry. You just had the air of stable help. Excuse me, I'm Snobby Vom Persnickety Bitch. I, I don't know if you saw Michelle riding out there, but if she entered the competition, she could win. Enjoy your little fantasy, because in reality, my Elizabeth wins this competition every year. Did you know that I actually eat good for breakfast and regurgitate it as evil? It's a delightful practice. This is why you don't go to public school. God, these scenes are so bad, even the horse looks like he's suffering. I only wishes he could talk back to half of these morons. You know what, I think maybe you missed a spot. Let me please. <laughs> This is so demeaning. I wish I was glue. What do you think, Peppermill? If you like the idea, just stand there. You're an insipid twat. He loves it. All right, Peppermill. I am going to tell you the same thing my beloved track coach told me right before my very first big track meet. Tanner, you keep those water bottles filled. Your humor is like my balls, old and non-functioning. While that's going on, Jesse and Joey try to put together a show about how they're going to go into wrestle- Okay, what mental asylum did this a-hole break out of? Put my foot around your neck like this. Mm -hmm. ah! Ah! Come, Come here! Ah. <laughs> this was a family show, right? So Michelle and the other girl decide to go out and practice when suddenly tragedy strikes. Off you go, bitch! Free at last! Maybe I can be a stand-in on Sea Biscuit. She fell off a horse! Oh my gosh! What happened? Should I do my Popeye impression? So Michelle wakes up, but unfortunately has a horrible case of amnesia. Actually, what am I talking about? It's not unfortunate at all. I wish I had that right now. Well, memory loss is very common with head injuries. How long is it going to last? Well, usually it's just temporary. One episode, 20 minutes tops. So everyone tries to get Michelle to remember who she is. Dan, Jesse, Joe... Seriously, dude. Which hospital? So, do you all live in the neighborhood? <laughs> no, you're going to love this. We all live in this house. Oh. 
I hope it's bigger than it looks from the outside. Well, through the magic of studio sets, plot holes, and inconsistent writing, yeah! So her memory does finally return in a weird existential moment where the two sisters are finally shown on screen together. I'm your memory. Where the heck have you been? I've been looking all over for you. I hope I didn't cause you any trouble. Duh! Psychology for dummies, by dummies. Gee, I sure hope there's an overwinded speech with shitty music to close us out. But well, we stuck it out and we got through it. Just like we always do. Just like we always will. This show is the worst! It's like if a Hallmark card pissed all over your family album and then somehow mutated into a sitcom. It was never funny, never clever, never endearing. So why do we keep watching it? Eight seasons? Hello! That's a long time to watch untalented hacks centered around a pair of unfunny female troll goblins. It's almost as if they were sending us subliminal messages or something. In fact, what happens if you play the Olsen twins dialogue backwards? You look just like Sleeping Beauty. It works. Watch our shows and make us money. Oh my god! And, and what's that say there? What? Manufactured by... Oh my god! The Olsen twins are mutant alien robots bent on world domination! I know it all along! This is incredible. The people have to know! Come play with us, critic. Come play with us. Come play with us, critic. Forever and ever and ever and ever. <laughs> I did it. They're dead. Can you believe them? Trying to take over the world? Of course! Of course, yeah. Well, seeing how they are in fact dead, I will just turn around and go to my normal duties. Because, you know, they're dead. It's not like they're going to pop up anywhere. Anywhere else. Especially on my way back to the room. So, I'm just going to make that turn I told you about a second ago. And here I go. You see? Nothing there. Uh -huh. So I'll just get back to work and... <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. oh, it was just a dream all along. Well, I'm the nostalgia critic guy, remember? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. I'm the nostalgia critic. I... <laughs> You know what I do and you know why I do it.